Hi everyone, so today we're going to the Chinese and Japanese gardens of Montreal. They're in the botanical gardens. I was there yesterday, but um, we're gonna go again today so that we can give them more time. The Montreal Chinese Garden is a place of contrast and harmony and was built from 1990 to 1991. Within the garden, the layout, the architecture, water, plants, rocks, and other elements of the garden are all expressions of the principles of yin and yang. The garden has seven classical structures that are inspired by the Ming Dynasty, including the entrance courtyard, the friendship hall, the springtime courtyard, the green shade pavilion, the tower of condensing clouds, and the stone boat. The Chinese garden is the result of close ties that have been established between the Parks Department of the City of Shanghai and the Montreal Botanical Garden. Thousands of pieces were needed to build the whole garden and were shipped from Shanghai to Montreal in 120 containers. In 1990, 50 Chinese artisans put together the garden. The roof of the Friendship Hall has traditional Chinese creatures including the dragon, lion, and phoenix. The Chinese garden is home to more than 250 species of plants, many of them which are native to China. The Botanical Garden's collection of Penjing includes a lot of miniature trees that were donated by the city of Shanghai during the flower show in 1980. The magnolia is the city of Shanghai's official flower, and the bark and roots of the tree peony are used in making medicine, which is also shown here in this garden.
The Dream Lake of the Chinese Garden is a small lake that is 60 meters by 40 meters big or 197 by 131 feet big with bridges crossing all over it. More than 3,000 tons of orange-brown stones were needed to build the 9-meter or 29-feet-tall hill at Dream Lake Garden, and the gray rocks all over the garden come from Thai Lake in China. Five hundred tons were imported for the landscape design. 